Morning, guys. Mr. E coming at you. Well, Mr. E, pool lessons and quick tips in pool. Today I have a, another quick tip for you guys. Something I've, I've been researching for about maybe six months now. And I want to bring it to you guys' attention. Now, you see the clock with no hands on it. I'm about to demonstrate to you guys how you could tell time with a clock with no hands on a pool table. It's going to change your game. So stay tuned, hold on, I'm going to come right back at you and demonstrate how you can tell time on a pool table with a clock with no hands. Okay guys, this is my very own program that I actually put together by accident. Now, this clock was hanging down there by my pool table, I'd say about six months ago. I had put a nail in, my wife had bought me a clock for a present, but down here because I didn't have a clock down here. And she bought this for a present and I put a nail in the wall and hung it. One day it fell, broke the glass, and the hands came off. And I put it back up. So it was hanging there for a while. My wife come down and say, babe, why don't you throw the clock in the trash? It's no good. And then I looked at it. Then I started thinking. I said, wait a minute. I could use this in my game. And I'm getting ready to show you guys right now. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research with the pros and how they play and how they position the cue ball. Now they will make a shot and position the cue ball almost on a dime where they want it to go next. So I can develop a program by using a clock. It's like the navigation system for the cue ball. And I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys right now. You have to practice this. Um, I would suggest if you don't have a table, you might not want to go to the pool hall and do this, but if you do have a table, like I do, you can practice this. It really, really works with your cue ball control. It's actually giving you uh, a navigation system for the cue ball. So you will have, instead of guessing what type of English to put on the ball to get where you want it to go, if you practice these drills over and over again, you'll lock the system in your mind. So when you play somebody, you know exactly what to put on the cue ball to send it where you want it to go. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys right now. Okay guys, first of all, I had the shots marked, how the ball, where the cue ball is going to go. Got it marked here, cue ball, how the ball. These are two pieces of paper. Now the object is to make a shot, make the cue ball hit the paper here, make the shot, make the cue ball hit the paper there. Now, I'm going to do that by using the clock system. Every shot before I shoot, I'm, I'm going to start at 12 o'clock. I'm going to start at 12 o'clock, aim the shot out. Once I've got the shot aimed out, then it's going to go into a pocket. Then I will apply the English. Some shots I will go to 1 o'clock. I might have to go to 2 o'clock. 3, 4, 5, or 6. And that will go to the right. To make the cue ball go to the right. To make the cue ball go to the left. I might, everything starts at 12 o'clock. 12, I might have to go to 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm going to call the number out 
before I make the shot. And you can see how accurate the two ball will make the shot, come off the rail, and go to the pin. Now, you have to set the same shot back up. So mark the table. Once you get good enough to make the shot, then send the cue ball to the paper, I say 10 times, each side. Set the shot back up, and you can move the paper different areas of the table. Then keep on repeating the system, the clock system. What it's going to do, it's going to, by you doing this so many times, when you play somebody, you automatically go and you're going to say, well, I'm going to 12 o'clock to line it up, aim it up, aim it out, and I've got to go to 2 o'clock to make the shot and come off the rail and get in position. It's going to be automatically embedded in your brain. This system really works. Now, sometimes you might not get your, uh, right on the paper, but you'll be so close that you still can make the shot. And you will have some type of navigation system, so this way you won't be guessing what to put on the cue ball, what type of English you will know. So let's give it a try. All right, for this shot right here, I'm going to go 12 o'clock and then 1 o'clock. Proper body alignment, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Okay, for this shot right here, I will go 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And it is the thing. I'm telling you guys, the system really, really works. This clock system really, really works, and I'm going to be doing this for a week. Nothing but the clock system and cue ball control to improve my cue ball control. I have a game coming up, and um, that's, the, that's what I'm going to be working on. So that's Mr. E's quick tip for the day. Try it, guys. It really, really works, and it will give you a navigation system for the cue ball for the pool table.
Lord God, that's how you know this, Mr. E, coming at you for Mr. E, cool lessons and quick tips and cool. That was just a little taste of the clock system. I've been working with it for the last two days, and I just want to show you how the improvement is, is coming along. Um, I'm estimating it in about three more days, I will be pinpoint accurate. I'll be putting it on the table each and every time. The program really, really worked. You guys, please give it a try. It really, really worked, and it will improve your cue ball control to take your cue ball control to a whole new level. Do the program, and you can crack them, and somebody else be racking them. To Mr. E, upload again. Peace. May God be with you.